because this is so emotional for me. Good morning, world, and welcome to my daily vlog number four of the quarantine diaries. I mean, what's one to tell you? <laughs> This day is gonna be just like the one before, except that actually today is my brother-in-law's birthday. So I'm gonna dress up. My sister came this morning to, um, she's like, I had you, then you woke up. So she came like all dressed up <laughs> at 9 a.m. She's like, I am even wearing a bra today. I hope she's not gonna kill me for saying that. And I was like, wait a second, I should dress up then as well. And she said like, whatever you want that we all dressed up downstairs. So, ladies and gentlemen, what should we wear? Yesterday was really warm and beautiful and nice. Today is a little bit, I can hear the wind and it's cloudy. So I'm not gonna really wear a dress because it's a bit chilly, but I still wanna wear something nice. Let's see. Should I go for like trousers and a knit? That could be nice. It's not like elegant, elegant, but let's see what have we got here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could wear a suit, but I don't want to wear like a light suit because I'm gonna spill coffee all over myself. I wonder if after this quarantine, I'm gonna be constantly like, what do I wear? What do I wear? Because like, there's so much that I want to wear that I don't actually know what to go for. I think I have an idea. I think I'll go for a jumpsuit because it's kind of elegant. It's trousers. Let's let's try this on. Starting the day. And wearing some clothing feels like you know when you go to a holiday wear like summer dresses and kaftans all day long and then and then after that you try and put jeans on and all of a sudden they feel like so tight and like you've never worn something like that before well that's how this feels it's from rebecca valence i worn it before it looks way better when you're a bit more tanned but there's no specific sun in my house i'll show you the look so this is my outfit of the day, but it's like a lace bustier, Stefan's loud. Then this kind of ties around the waist, like a black thing ties around the waist. And the flare trousers, that's the word. You guys keep asking me about this necklace. I don't know if I've already linked it below, but I will link it now. It's obviously, it doesn't have to be a T, it can be any letter that you want it to be, so... This is it. Let's go downstairs and have my first coffee dressed like this. Why are you not dressed up yet? When are you gonna get dressed up? And off he goes. Bye. Let's see what's for breakfast this morning. What's inside of here, Tete? Courgette and sweet corn fritters with feta cheese. Oh my god, it looks delicious. This is going to be for breakfast today. It's already though 11 and I'm freaking starving. So it uh, better be good. Uh, also better be fast. But I also want to prepare breakfast one day for the household. Oh, um. Luckily, people are gonna say that I all have I a do, challenge for you. People are gonna say that all I do is boss around, which is not the case. Too. My sister wanted uh, to do a challenge to challenge me to make an Italian Easter bread, is it? Yes. I mean, it sounds like so complex. Don't you think it's a complex thing? Well, I think it would be an amazing laugh because we would all love to see your culinary skills. And I'll find so? it extremely entertaining. Do you I'm gonna film so? it all, document it all for your audience. I hope I'm not gonna get copyrighted because of the music in the background. But we loved this so much yesterday, we will do it again today. Got so much work to do now with the daily vlogging. So I am uploading today's video. I just did a little kind of uh, story set which is quite difficult when you're doing it for another profile because you're not doing it on your phone you have to put in an order do all the captions for all the stories download them put them in a folder put them in the right order send them away because i'm doing like a little takeover for uh, bureau 24 7 so i've done that now i'm gonna try and do the video i'm doing some emails on here and all while of course enjoying my coffee i love this cardi <laughs> i put it on top i'm still wearing this by the way so why not <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I did a bit of work and now they've called me to come downstairs. By the way, I've changed. They've called me to come downstairs for lunch, so I'm gonna have some food now and then continue with this day. I really want to tidy my shoes and clean all of them today, so that's going to be it on my schedule today. This is a typical kind of like a grandma like soup that we have growing up, I would say, in Serbia. Well, at least that's what I think. I love it. It's with broccoli, carrots, some noodles, even some peas. So that's what I'm going to have for lunch now, as well as mashed potatoes and meatballs. Yes, there we go. Thank you, sister. Don't you know how much I love Ikea meatballs? I do, but I Comment mean, down if you love Ikea meatballs. I'm supposed to tidy my shoes today, but I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I basically wanted to ask you if you guys wanted some sisterly time. Yeah. You want some sisterly time? Well, your mama then has to give you a sister. <laughs> he, he just came up and he said he misses hanging out with that guy. Well, that's about to change because I have a few questions for you, mister. I am feeling very lazy. Did you know that? I'm really not lazy. You're not lazy? I'm extremely productive. That was me yesterday. Do you know what? I'm doing things that I've never done before in my life. Like what? Like... Ice skating. <laughs> Yeah, one of them. Then, <laughs> what else? I'm like, like who we can do? I wanna, I wanna like a little bit freshen up my face. That's all um, I wanna do. Okay. But in the meanwhile, I wanna ask you a few questions. Who is older? Me. Wait. Who is who is older sibling? Mama or me? Tetka. Come on, be honest. Tell who's be older? Honest. What do you who's think? Older? There's no answers on my phone. You what? think I'm older? Who is the big? Sibling. The um, older Tetka. one. Tetka. Tetka. How old is Tetka? Um, I forgot. You forgot how old I what am? What do you think? Make a guess. Make a guess. 53? 53? <laughs> how old is that you are today? So, let me just tell you. You lose points. Like, do you know how you're losing points? They're like leaking out. They're like, they're like... Just, you know what? Right. Your allowance is taken away. Even though you don't have it yet. So how old is Tetka? 43. I mean, 43. Yeah. sounds good to be. And how old is mommy? 43. Great! Yeah, well, someone's always going to be happy. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you how many centimeters you are in the whole world. Okay. Well, that's true. Mommy is much shorter than Tetka. Can I ask one more question, Stefa? What do you think is one thing that Mama is really good in and one thing that Tetka is really good in? What's Mom best yes, at? So mommy's best at snuggling and keeping company, and but Tekka is the best at doing makeup. Oh, but I want to be the best at snuggling. Okay, you're both the best at snuggling. Well, this is so unfair that you get all of these things. Okay, I, I have more questions until I get what and I want. who's best at bath time? Both of you. And how about who's best at reading? Both of you. No, 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 no. Who's best at reading out of three of us? Me. Of course. of course. But I used to be the best at reading when I was your age, just to let you know. I was starting reading when I was three years old. Is that correct? Well, it's actually, it was actually two. Two. Yeah, it was two when you started reading. But it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. I have another question. Who watches more TV? Mama or me? Mama. That's correct because I never watch TV, but neither mama does Mama. Never watches any TV. It um, just that hides upstairs so you don't see her. What is one thing that Mama always talks about? Me. Like other than you, what does she always talk to you about? About my school. Uh, yeah, about your school. What do I always talk to you about? About filming. Filming. Well, not really, but okay. What nickname does Mama have for you? Cupcake. Cupcake? What do I call you? <laughs> Mr. Silly Banana Man. High five, Mr. Silly Banana Man. Mama calls you what? Keeps getting better and better. Silly Banana. Again, no, my I favorite don't. Chanel. That's me. I call you Silly Banana. What is your mom really bad at? She's bad at ice skating. Fair. <laughs> what am I really bad at? You're bad at cooking. Well, I mean, anything else super nice you would like to say to my lovely followers today who have joined this video about me, like any other promotion, because look, it's not that I'm married, you know, and with your beautiful compliments, 
I'm getting just further and further and further and further from finding a perfect uncle for you. Yeah? It's important to find an ankle who's going to ankle. Uncle? It's important to find an ankle. <laughs> it's important to find somebody who's going to accept you even though you can't cook. Or, but you, you can clean. You can clean. I can no, even cook, Dunya. Let's not so even guys, pretend. It's just that I never really so guys, need to cook. So please follow Tetka. What's Auntie's husband called? Uncle. Exactly. And now I would you said that you ask some questions, Mommy. Yeah, I need to ask mommy some questions. Biggest dinosaur in the whole world. I know. T Rex. Yes, that's one point for Tekka. I have a quite dinosaur question for you guys as no, well. No, but I'm the referee, so I need okay. to know. What's the biggest shooting star in the whole world? Shooting star? That can point you anywhere. Well, it's there's. The North. The North Star. Wow. But, but North Star is not a shooting star. It's just the biggest star. Okay, but he that's... said it can point you anywhere. Okay, got it. Okay, so so it's a bit one... of a mixed match. Yeah, I understand. So, oh, this mascara so is so good, you guys. One... This is the new Chanel Le Volume Stretch Mascara. I love this mascara. It's my new mascara and I'm really obsessed. Okay, you're very beautiful. Thank you, Steve. That's so you okay to be in my video uh, as a sound, right? Only as a sound. <laughs> So guys, my like sister's people here. Said, I'm like that Why Tom and Jerry person. Yeah, I have a few questions for my sister. Let's see what she's gonna say because we might have different answers. I'm gonna answer for you and you're gonna answer for me. What is your sibling's biggest talent? So I need to answer like about you. Yeah, but well, unless you have some other siblings that I don't know about because my whole life I had been invested in one sibling. So what is my sibling's biggest talent? Talent, no. Where do I start? My sibling has so many talents. Okay, people, this is not like about me telling you who my sibling is because you all know who she is. But like, she is the person that really has too many too many talents for one to count. Um, anyway, I'll answer for my <laughs> sister because Please. the correct answer is I have zero talents. I, I have zero listen, talents. Listen, listen. Like you are the person that can get yourself out of any, any situation, no matter how horrible it is due to your talent of God. <laughs> You are the person who's extremely intelligent. Like, I thought that I was the intelligent That's one, only to be proven very wrong by the intelligent one. Well, you think basically that it's the talent of speech? I think you've got an amazing talent of speech, and also, like, you think unthinkable. I like that. Thank you, Sassy Say, if that's what you think. Oh, I really I appreciate that. that. I think your talent is to fix every situation. You fix other people's problems, but you cannot fix your own problems. Very true. But then I have somebody who can fix my problems, and that is you. I think it's very hard to think like objectively about your own problems because we yeah. are all very subjective when it comes to our problems. And I agree. Look at like things that are not very practical or not very possible. So that's why it's always yeah. good to get somebody who's gonna be like, but this is the way out of it. And you're like, how did I not work that out myself? And that person for me, luckily, is you. I think likewise. Mm. What is your uh, a sibling really bad at? My sister is very bad at anything to do with anything creative. Like maybe a month ago, she stormed into my bedroom and was like, please, you need to get up because Stefan, Stefan has um, like a book. They had, they had to book go thing. to school as a book character so it was like 7 a.m i had to jump out of the bed to do a costume for him in 20 minutes i think he was one of well i mean i loved his costume okay so i'm really bad at makeup and i'm very bad at, at, at drawing like i cannot draw i really cannot draw i cannot like i'm very bad yeah at like like at craft you're not crafty i'm not crafty at all at no. all like at all. that's the only thing that i can think about that you're bad at and like writing messages like meaning like nice like, kind of yes. stuff like happy birthday like i'm good at writing i'm because i'm good at words i'm good at writing you're very good at like putting things together so you're very good at like what i call fluff 
fluff so my sister has zero fluff and also like i'm always the one trying to be super nice to everybody because i feel that there's no need not to you be don't nice try. you're just super nice so there's this story we have to tell everyone like i'm very very reserved person yeah very reserved. and i don't like not that i don't like but it's very difficult for me to let people in and to get to know people yeah. really i just you don't really even want to it's not that i don't so much want to but i just like don't let them in so basically what happened there was this one time where i bought a camera that is how tamara's blogging started in the first place so I bought this amazing camera in the way that you know like elevator uh, yeah in a building where, <laughs> where we lived so we were in this building where we lived and it was full of really posh older people like all elderly like yeah. they're talking all over the age of 60 yeah and they already we were like the youngest people and you know i was really wanting to be super nice to and everybody when we moved in we got this letter to say listen this building does not allow any parties yeah we do not allow you to put your clothes to like dry them on the balcony because like this very is kind of and exactly of and it's like come on like we, we, we were sense. like we don't party and we Plus, don't do we don't like party. stupid yeah so we were kind of offended already and then I was really super nice to everybody we were like trying well I was trying to make friends kind of and then we we're in this building and this older lady told my sister like ah what a lovely camera you have over there and my sister said hmm hmm that's literally all she said like Mm. <laughs> I mean, I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. I almost even added my sister is mute because, like, I was so embarrassed. Not even a thank you. I, I went over the top, of course, being like, thank you so much. What a beautiful day. How are you doing? What are your plans? Blah, blah, blah. And my sister just left the elevator the moment the doors open. She okay, just... so I'm an introvert and Tamara is an extrovert or point like i do not really easily like communicate communicate to people who like okay so i communicate to people that i do not know every day of my life it's my job and i talk to patients every day but like outside my work i feel like i want to rest i want to shut down and i want to like do something different yeah. And like I find it a bit odd when like people come to me and like comment on things that I'm just odd, odd, odd person. Like really, really odd. <laughs> what do you think I'm really bad at? Cooking. Like besides cooking. Like, because everybody even, knows. The whole internet knows. Okay. I, I have I, to tell them again about pea soup. I have to tell them. Do try do something nice once for a person you care about <laughs> and have them bring this up for the rest of your life this was like 10 years ago it was a green pea soup i cooked the peas i blended them it was all curdled it was horrific 10 points for effort never gonna zero. stop never gonna zero stop points never it was in like not even palatable what <laughs> habits does your sibling have that you would change if you could my sister is so amazing that she has already changed the habits that she had that annoyed me which were she used to read daily mail daily and i was like how can you read this it's terrible 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 and um one day i don't know what happened and she just told me i'm gonna delete this app of the phone because it's so shit it was my first of jan like resolution I just two years ago i was spending too much time reading news and you told me that basically i was also reading news that were not very valuable in news <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> which at the time i might not have known so basically i've just decided to delete all the news apps from my phone which i've done and i find and i'm very proud of you for that because i think that it's a very addictive like that kind of you know stuff and you have it on your phone and every time there's a bit of a spare moment to open that app like you know yeah so i've just stopped reading news what about my bad decision that you what bad habit that you would like to change me to change because I have quite a few. It's going to sound so cheesy, but I cannot think of a thing I Come would on. like to change on you. Apart from the fact I have been begging you for the past seven days to bring your washing down. 
So all I have been asking have her is to collect all her dirty clothes and bring them down. So I don't have to come up. She's like two floors above the washing machine. So I don't have to come up and collect her dirty laundry. So she can like bring it down herself. But to my defense, I have like only half a bin full. Regardless. Now with the bedding I have. Regardless, I wanted to wash it. I've got no, but I have one. I have time. one bad habit that I would like to change. I sometimes get very stressed, like at work, like very stressed that I'm not gonna do something, and it's like a moment, and then I'm a bit stressy towards you, and then I later regret it. But then I calm you down very quickly. You calm me down very. You're like, listen, Tanya, which is what only you call me in the whole entire world, and then you're like. Listen, but she always had to listen, and she's like, We got, and in this voice that I feel like I could maybe do this voice. Listen now, we're gonna get this done, we're gonna do everything we need to do, we're gonna get home, have it all ready, and it's all gonna be fine. Come on, Tanya, look at all these things that you have achieved so far. You're gonna do this as well. Now, people, you understand why I don't have time to chat. To people, it's elevator because I have Tanya as my sister, so I have to be thinking practically how to help her. Who sleeps longer? Oh, okay, this is a stupid question. I do. Who reads more? Oh, another question that does I not do. need answering. Who is funnier? You. But you're very sarcastic. I'm very sarcastic. Like, I have a different sense of humor to you. Yeah. Who is lazier? I am. Who is more chill? I am. You're so panicky. So, just at times. You're definitely more chill than yeah. me. Yeah. Which one of you is more likely to turn out like your mom or dad? I hope you. I <laughs> <laughs> will show. <laughs> what is the dumbest decisions your sibling has ever made? My sister would say dating some of the guys in my past. Awesome. My first boyfriend. First, second, third, fourth. Come on, you like the second, the third, and the fourth. You just didn't like, like maybe the like first I'm one. I'm joking, I'm yeah. joking. No, no, no. I don't think like like boys were at all like bad decisions. We learn and like we grow with them and through them. So it, it's like a lesson. Like the dumbest decision you've made, potentially. Not pursuing like your Spanish and just stopping and giving up. But I'm good at it already. Yeah, but like you've just stopped it. That's not as dumb as that bad first boyfriend. Because he was like really dumb. When you were a child, don't judge yourself for first Okay, boyfriend. how about the last boyfriend then? Well, still, you are you were a child. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think you never had any dumb decisions because... Uh, That's just stupid thing to say. No, uh, let me tell you why I think that. Because... Okay, I can think because of Because I was the same guy for the past 17 years. Yeah, first of so all. you can't say it's a guy. First of all, um, I think my sister never uh, makes a spur of the moment decision or is like, oh, let me just do this. You're not really a risk taker. You no. make really, really clever decisions. You like put pros and cons on the paper. You really think about it. You know, you are like... It's called calculative. You're very calculative. You're very like bring... Like, you know, you are someone that I always wanted to be when I grow up. Because I always looked at you as someone who has all of their sheep in... Like, you know, all of their ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> and I don't think you you really made like I could not think of like a stupid decision. You're mm. not someone who you like, you know, bought some stocks like I don't know how many years ago and then you sold them for like a lot of money. Like I mean who does that? Like so young, you know? So lucky. I don't know, or lucky or smart or whatever, but it's like really for me you're just yeah. We're very different. You know when when this pandemic started I was trying to queue up in a virtual queue online to buy all of this food and then I was adding stuff in the basket and my sister told me like yeah but if you buy more there's gonna be someone else that's gonna come food shopping and there's not gonna be any left and I mean sure I think like that but maybe there's just gonna be another person that's gonna buy 20,000 you know wow when I was very very young at like seven my sister told me not my mom my sister taught me that when there is not make this video about your sister that there's an older person when there's an older are. person you have to get up in the bus for them 
Like that was the lesson number one. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if my you but you were twelve. You know, like you were twelve or thirteen when you taught me that. And the last question: Do you have nicknames for each other? Oh, where do I start? I have about twenty. Why is this last question like? It should have been first, so we end on that because I have so many. My sister has so many like nicknames for me, and I all, I call her Tsetitsa Dinitsa, which means like Sestri Tsetitsa. I've elaborated on this so many times. It's my only sister, that's what it means. But also Tsetitsa, Tsetse, Tsitsi. I like it's Dunia. And like we're in a great mood, and we just think of different names yeah. for each other, and that's what we call each other. So it's like. You mainly call me Tanya. Tanyo, Tam, yeah, Tanyo, mainly Tamna. Tamna is my favorite, which means dark. Now I feel a bit more productive. I'm gonna clean all my shoes and tidy them today. Will you? Or maybe do my bathroom. Mm -hmm. I have one more question for you. Ask. What is one thing that you would love to change about me? Over sweating the small stuff, or not just the small stuff. So funny, I was just going to say, I wish I was more decisive. Which no. is more or less the same, no? Yeah, no? I don't know. I kind of wish I was a bit more clear-cut because like you said, I'm very like... No, I don't wish you were more like... clear-cut. I think my sister gets very worked up about some stuff. She's extremely responsible. Like if you can be responsible 1 to 10, she's like 12 responsible. And then she ahead worries about stuff. Like you would ahead plan. You never leave anything to like, mm, I don't know, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. No. I don't like not knowing. Yeah. And you don't like kind of leaving things to the chance. It know? happens. Obviously, things get out of our control and we can't help it. And it's very important then. It's very important to stay in control of the situation. And we know we've, we've had to let go. But it's important to know your limits. But if something... Because she's so prepared ahead. So she has to make sure that like, you know, I don't know. When she got pregnant, she had to make sure that she has enough money like saved up to like go through her pregnancy and through her like whatever you're very like always Maternity. yeah you're always very very like everything has to be safe ahead but when something happens which is unexpected then you're like this face then i come to tanyo tanyo <laughs> <laughs> and she comes so panicky and is like like you you're very good at solving other people's problems but when something unexpected happens out of your way then you're very like nuisance no no not nuisance at all not because... nuisance to you but it's like nuisance to like my plan i've got this life plan yeah but it's like pretty amazing when you kind of grow together with somebody who because our parents worked so hard in a way my sister kind of oh my mom's gonna kill me for saying this but hopefully she's not gonna watch this far because it's already this long video my sister kind of raised me and told me a lot of things and you know well i didn't raise you but I you know what i mean role model when your yes. older sibling teaches you everything when i had bullies in the kindergarten this one girl like i'll never forget she bullied me and my sister i told her because we had this like um kindergarten picture and she was like who's your best friend blah blah, blah. and then i said like this one she always like calls me name you know and my sister came next day to school and was like you call my sister one more time this name uh which i cannot even translate right. and she never called me name again so like my sister was you know like my best friend my role model blah 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 and now when i'm like 30 and my role model comes to me with a problem for me it's like not ever a nuisance and I think a lot of girls who are watching this, who have sisters, hopefully will be able to associate with us and think how nice it is to have a sister that you share interests with, that you have like this great connection with. And obviously it doesn't stop you from making great and successful friendships, but it's really, really great to come to this Guys, I'm gonna cry right you. now because this is so emotional for me right now. What's wrong with you? No, like these kind of things make me like very emotional. Grow up. <laughs> Honestly, like these kind of things, like I, there is not a single person in... I mean, I don't know. I, I just... I'm so happy that I can be in lockdown with you. This whole situation, if we were not together, would have been much harder for me. Because if you were not in this household, personally, like honestly, I, I would, would be have with a hot boy. I would, if you were with whoever, 
I would have felt like a piece of me was missing and not like some like just like a leg or just like an arm but more like a liver and a pancreas <laughs> <laughs> liver is okay because you only need a little piece off and then it can re Still. like regrow itself but I'm just telling you like vital pancreas organs. very difficult I'm to live without about vital <laughs> organs here that's what I'm telling you it's like I would really have felt we're such a good Out. team. I think we're so different and such a good team. Don't you think? And thank you also for your like annoying little children that you gave me because I love them so much as oh, well. Oh, they love you too. The quiz, she did all right, but you know what? I have to tell you something. You did way better. You're the winner. How do many coats do you wear in one day? How many coats do I wear every day? Uh, if it's fashion week, I would say up to four coats a day. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen today was a little bit off filming fail because i didn't really show you what i was doing and the reason behind it is that i spent a lot of time on the phone i was speaking to my friends catching up and like i can't really vlog that sometimes i can you know when it's related but it was not really related so i am sorry i hope that the q a with my sister made it a little bit you know for today so that you can get to know me but other than that i know that tomorrow is going to be a good day because i have some stuff arriving tomorrow like um some exciting stuff and tomorrow i'm finally going to do the shoe wardrobe clear out and organization so that's what you'll be watching tomorrow for sure i promise i was also feeling a little bit lazy today there was some point in the afternoon when i was just like i could fall asleep now and i don't know why that is because i don't normally nap but it's just one of those days either way i hope you forgive me i'm gonna go have a shower jump in the bed it's already very late it's 36 minutes past midnight so i'm gonna love you but i'm gonna leave you thank you for all the comments suggestions on what you would like me to film that really helps me so that i can also kind of organize my days around what you guys would like to see anyway i will see you in my next one stay safe